for you, everybody who is watching this video. My name is uh, Ole Jerai Mokota Jailo Singo. I'm very happy to be with you, whether you're an international viewer or a national viewer. Uh, I'm very happy to be with you, possibly even yourself. I know that you're happy to be with me. I'm from Tanzania, a fantastic country in the eastern of the African continent. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into our, our online training schools or training institution that's called the online and I would like to welcome you into online undergraduate Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania in square bracket on July M. And simultaneously I would like to welcome you into one of our official YouTube channels. We have more than we have more than five official YouTube channels. We have six YouTube official YouTube channel, but one of them is called the YouTube channel. Uh, it's called the online undergrad. These are abbreviations of the word undergraduate. Poly Institute is a, a combinations of the two words in abbreviations of Tanzania in square bracket on the July M. Well, before even I go into the departments and explaining briefly about what are we going to do in this lecture one, I would like to remind you quickly about the visions in our heart because the word of God say that if there's no visions, people perish, you know? Where is it written? In the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. And also that the laws or the laws are a blessed the ones, the man who handle the laws because law is protecting the vision. So this is the vision that God has revealed in my heart for more than five years ago and even now it is still alive and that's what bringing this kinds of the impact at this time. Uh, the Holy Spirit just told me that or reveals in my heart that I should be incubating some group of students who will be ready to take the classroom instructions in higher engineering mathematics, in higher scientific mathematics, combining with the knowledge of God, the knowledge of the Word of God from the Bible in order to solve real life problems. So remember that combinations. It's a combination of 40, uh, higher engineering, the knowledge from higher engineering mathematics or higher engineering or higher scientific mathematics, plus the knowledge from the core causes, for, for instance, uh, in course or in the programs or called the telecommunication engineering, uh, we have, for example, the, uh, the course called the signal processing, right? We have signal processing, that's what you'll be learning. So in case of learning signal processing, it means that that is core modules. So we like to train our students how they can extract knowledge from their core modules and combining with the knowledge from the Word of God. And then the main objective now to solve real life problems from the students' community or from our own community and even others I know that they might think even away from their communities or it means that they can, they can think broadly of their community. So that's uh, the vision in our heart. Our main objective in these programs is not to help students to pass their exams. However, that you might be focusing on that because we have a purpose on doing that. Our main objective is to see our continuing students and even our graduate students solve real life problems. So our intention is to see we take the classroom instructions from the inbox and solve problems outside there where we are come from because that's the main objective of education. Right? So that is uh, the main vision that we have in our heart. I've declared, I will keep on repeating it because it's very powerful. And that's what makes us to do this business without getting tired, without getting disappointed, without uh, getting, giving up. That the main, at least because of that vision, we know that the impact when the Tanzanians now will solve our own scientific and engineering problem, problems in our community, then we know that our country will be blessed and even will. Uh, the economies of our country will be growing uh, daily, right? So we have some specific objective in this uh, in, in online undergraduate Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania. Some of the specific objectives are one, number one, first of all, we like to make sure that we will be trying our level best in, uh, to make all our students to love the subject of higher engineering and scientific mathematics. Whether that you are doing, uh, when I say that higher engineering, mathematics and higher scientific mathematics, I mean this is kind of the uh, closely late, relating fields of, of science, right? That's, so that's why that I've been calling about that one, because we have that department. So that's number one. Our second specific objective is we have to we'll teach our students to think differently, 
and even to think outside of the box. And our third specific objective would like to have all our students to pass the year continuing assessment is successful without any kinds of the cheating along the way. But our fourth specific objective would like to teach all our students and even train them to be confident and simplify the concepts so they can pass their final year exams or university exam. Those are just the few specific objectives. We have so many specific objectives. I have a video there explaining in details about the problems so the, the problems that I'm solving because remember that in Orange Line does not that Orange Line does not know everything concerning our calculus school. I know just a small portion of it, but I'm ready to teach uh, other people what I know. That's number one. Number two, I gain myself, I'm a product of in higher engineering mathematics. I apply it in my daily life, in thinking, in making decisions, in doing my own computations, in different perspectives, for example, in financial, in solving problems, in designing, in modifications, in maintenance, etc., etc., etc. Also, thirdly, myself, I'm a product of the word, of the knowledge of the word of God. So I'm living on what I'm teaching you, and I will keep on living on what I'm teaching you for the rest of my life. I will never be disappointed on what that I'm living with because I've seen the fruits of what I I'm living in, and that's why that I say, no, I should not enjoy, I'm not jealous actually, but I want to enjoy the fruits of what I've been enjoying every day, and possibly every hour with you. So, let us go to the session right now. We have, so, we have some departments in online uh, undergraduate polytechnic institute of the line and square bracket on July like, M. My name, just is, my simple name is Ole July, right? So we have uh, one of our departments is called the Higher Engineering and Scientific Mathematics, where we are. Today we have a module or course, some of the institutions or universities they call it course, or they call it modules, and this we call it fundamental course or fundamental modules, that's called Calculus 2. It's quite different from Calculus also, because in these departments I'm teaching 12 modules. Uh, okay, so four modules are, are we refining the curriculums of the rest of the of Technology as what because uh, as the representations of all engineering, higher engineering, and the, and the scientific institutions under NACTE. And then so we're teaching four modules of University of Dar to represent all the higher engineering and scientific uh, uh, universities under TCU. But also in addition, so I teach four modules, uh, four modules or four courses, right? Four courses are uh, the curriculum of University of Dodoma or UDOM, right? Uh, just like it to supplement uh, all the institutions and colleges, institutions, colleges, universities, which are allowed in this year. So we are there. We are in chapter one that's called Infinite Sequence. And then this is lecture one, general introductions of the sequence. And then again, that this at uh, UDOMS, this model is being learned in first semester of the second year, possibly that in your country, in Egypt. Uh, maybe you're learning these modules uh, maybe in the third year or fourth year, or it depends, uh, second year, maybe in the first semester or first year. So it depends the context because we have so many, many different names. For example, I, I, when I was doing my research in some of the institutions, there is this content they call it engineering mathematics one, engineering mathematics two. So those are the names. The issue is focused on the contents. That's why that I advise you to have course outlines in your hand. Okay, so uh, again, in case you feel from your heart that you want to offer God the free willings offering, like myself, because I'm offering God my free willing offering of the gift of teaching that He has given me. I'm offering God uh, my free willing sense giving offering through all the payments of the initial cost for these programs and even running cost. So I'm enjoying the blessing because whenever I offer the word of God, of the word of God, of God say that He. When you give, you receive. So the more I give, the more I receive by faith. So in case also you want to join me in that programs or in that uh, blessings, you can send your free willing sales giving 0759745338 and the confirmation name is going to write yeah, In case that you want to do bank transaction, read the descriptions of this video and you see the bank accounts 
and bank account number and bank name. So you might ask yourself that why should they offer this free will incense giving? That are good questions. We have a very high running cost for these programs so that in, in case you want to enjoy so many videos that you to be posted or uploaded or added into our YouTube channels and even some other social network, real I want to tell you that there is a high running cost to make sure that this work is going on. It doesn't mean that you can pay for it, no. But you, I can invite you also to participate. Because if you participate together, we make something great. So that's the point that you have to remember. Okay, so let us go to the session right now. Okay, so uh, if we refer, uh, uh, as you say, as I said, if you do remember that when we talk about higher institution, or higher institution, right? Institution. When we talk about higher institutions, we have in Tanzania, however, that these materials are not limited for Tanzania. There might be useful in India. We have TCU and also we have what NACTE. So TCU, Tanzania Commission for Investing, NACTE National Council for the Technical Education. So our focus here, as I said, that we have so many universities under TCU, but some of them is University of Dar es Salaam that will be using this curriculum and UDOM. So today we are in UDOM. So for UDOMs, uh, if uh, in the college, one of the schools that called called the College of uh, College of Informatics and Visual Education, there are four modules, right? There are four courses that students have to study uh, uh, during the first year and second year. So I can take the big picture first of all of what of you know, but these materials are not limited for the University of the Loma itself. Even all the institutions and all the universities in the world, in Tanzania and even the world that have the same contents, they can benefit from this program because this program is for the national and the international, uh, international students, right? So uh, that they print that. So uh, this is all about a course called mathematics. Okay, so mathematics at the University of the Loma, it can be categorized be into three categories, right? Or into four more, into four causes. Four causes or four modules, regardless of how uh, we just call it, but the issue the bridges. You have to understand that how things are going. Okay? So the first one, this one we call it a linear algebra. Okay? Linear algebra. I want just to give you the general concept because this is lecture one which is general introduction of the sequence. Okay? Linear algebra. And this is the uh, module, uh, the cost code is TN111. <clears throat> and then we have the other ones, which is TN120, okay, which is called the probability. Probability. Okay, probability. And then against the other ones, is called the TN121. This is called the calculus one. Right, and this is called the, and then here we have calculus two, where we are learning, and this is has the uh, mod, uh, cost code or is one twenty again one twenty, no two twenty two two ten, so two hundred and ten. Okay, so this one is taught in the first semester at the University of the, at the University of the Roma, and this model of probability is taught in the second semester of the first year. First semester, first year, second semester of first year, and this also is learned or it's covered in, in the yeah. So this is covered also in the. It's a kind of uh, because you know that there they start uh, they used to start these models of mathematics in one and three, in three we call it in three in semester, right? So it means that this one. Is being studied. Okay, this is okay. This is for the first semester of the second year, right? So, and this is uh, for second semester of the first year. So, just see for for understanding, at you know, this is taught in first semester of first year, right? Of first year, first year, right? And then this is taught in the second semester of forty of first year. Second semester of first year. 
Similarly, this is taught you in second semester of first year. And this one is taught on the first semester of second year. And the, the good news that I'm going to teach you all of these four modules, or all of those four courses. So stay tuned. So now, so we, we are here. So we've been looking for this uh, subject of calculus 2. So you can take it the subject of calculus 2. So say calculus 2. So calculus 2, uh, the prerequisite of calculus 2, you need to remember about calculus, you have been learning in advanced education or in ordinary diploma. You have also to remember this calculus 1 because you cover calculus 1 before calculus 2. But don't worry, in case you forgot, uh, we have so many information, so different ways of making our students they enjoy the beauty of higher engineering mathematics. So in calculus 2, now, if you take this module of this course, then we can break it down, right? We break it down. Before even I go into too much, uh, into too much uh, details, I would like just to share with you about quick review. Quick review means that you have to link uh, this lecture with the previous lecture. So quick review of lecture 00, which is called the General Introductions of Calculus 2. So it's still on YouTube channel, so you have to go through it before. So then uh, this uh, course or module of Calculus 2 it has been broken into five topics, right? I'm gonna be there. So into five topics. The first one, we call it infinite sequence, right? That's of calculus two. The first one we call it sequences, but it, yes, infinite sequence. You can just call it infinite sequence. However, that you can call it just the sequence. The second ones will be learning or will teach you about infinite series. For there, they just call it in sequence and series, right? But we differ the way that it, the issue is the contents. We have in the same contents. So infinite series, infinite sequence, because we'll be focusing on the infinite sequence and even infinite series, because we have to make distinctions with what we know in arguments. So infinite what you series. So again, we have another one which we call it geometrical. Geometrical, I will write them clearly. Geometrical mean. Okay, geometrical mean. And then it's geometrical, it's called geometrical series, not mean. Geometrical series. So I'll teach about geometrical series. And then I'll teach about double integral and I'll teach about the triple integral. So we have basically those five topics, very interesting, very applicable in engineering and science. So you have to stay in tune. So let me take you into the second part. This, this I was giving you the big picture, right? So this is a big picture in my mind. So big picture, big picture, right? In Olenjola, right? In Olenjola, okay? So let us, uh, let me take you into the second part of this general introduction of the sequences. And these are, uh, I would like to mention to you chapters or topics of 40 of Calculus 2, Calculus 2, this is according to what it, according, according to Judon Curriculum. Judon Curriculum. <coughs> it's common, okay, Judon Curriculum. So we say that here there are five topics, there are five topics, these five topics we can mention them like this, but we can call it, or they used to call it a sequence, but our focus, because we have two types of sequence, will be focusing on the infinite sequence, which we have never discussed it during our ordinary education, and also we have never learned it when we have been in advanced in, uh, education or when we have been in ordinary diploma. So the first topic is called the sequence, or sequences in plural. The second one, we call it the series, right? Series, but our main focus will be focused on infinite series because that the type of the series we are using in engineering. And then the same ones will be taking and learning specifically uh, the type of series that we call the geometric series, right? Geometric series. I think that you remember what geometric mean, right? You remember what arithmetic progression, as well progression means AP and geometric progression 
realm of those steps. So we see that this geometric series because you have to build the foundations on what you know. So then uh, we'll teach about the multivariable, multivariable, multivariable calculus, right? Multivariable calculus. And we'll be focusing in this first chapter on double interval, right? Some of the books, we call it, we call this topic as double interval, right? Double intervals. The last topic uh, we're going to teach you about multivariable, right? Multivariable, multivariable calculus, multivariable calculus. Uh, and this one is called the triple interval. So triple intervals. So those are the five topics that we are going to learn together, step to step. And I would like to promise you that stay tuned, stay focused. I'm going to break down every topic into different concepts and we will be learning the concepts and also solve problems, right? So, so if that's the case now, we can take a focus onto our chapter one, right? So you know now the chapter one there, uh, chapter one, which is called your sequence, say sequence. So sequence, but in bracket, I told you that we are going to focus on the finite sequence. Okay? So, when you uh, when you use the UDOM curriculum and also use the, the course outlines of this course, then we find that we can break down this topic of sequence into different concepts, right? So it's a different concept. So you say that in, in this chapter one, say that the concepts of what you, of sequence that you are going to cover when I'll be teaching you about this topic of 40 of sequence, right? So you have to cover some of the concepts and I'm going to mention for you. So the first concept that I'm going to teach you is equal to 1.1. Uh, it's the one that now I'm teaching you, which we call it general. Introduction, general introduction of 40 of sequence. This is today's lecture. Say general introductions of sequence and the first concept. In the second concept, I will take you into the uh, notations of the sequence, right? How we notate sequence. Notation of the sequence, right? Of the sequence. You have some few notations in sequence that you have to cover as engineers or as scientists. So one and three, the third concept that we are going to cover uh, in this course, uh, I'm going to teach you also uh, the two types of audio or sequence, but we focus on infinite, infinite, infinite sequence because to the heart of this topic, we go 1.4. So the first uh, concepts then I will teach about the graphing, how we can draw. So graphing, okay, graphing, graphing what? Graphing of the sequence. How can you draw the sequence? How can you prevent graphical the sequence? Then the first concept. Uh, <coughs> I will teach about the limit of the sequence. Can we limit the sequence? Can we find the limits of the sequence? Or can we limit the sequence? Limit of 40 of sequence. And then I uh, will teach you about 1 by 60. I uh, will teach you about the convenient sequence. Convenient, special types of, of sequence. We call it convenient 40, convenient sequence. And then if you, I will teach you about convenience. Sequence also, I have to teach you another type which is called the divergent sequence. Then here, point eight. So, say that the eight. Then, the eight concept I have to teach about is squeeze theory. Squeeze. Squeeze theory. I have to 
teacher had squeezed on him. So afterwards, after teacher got not be told. Very important rule. <coughs> Squeeze so two of them. Be solving so many tutorial questions. So start to stay focused. So 1.9, I'll teach you about law, law pito, or some of the books they just write it in like this. Lock it over. Lock Okay? You write that. Lock it over. Okay? So, teach about the lock it over. Very important. Next, 1.10. That teach you lock the over. Then, I will be, will be solving. Okay? Uh, questions. Questions. Questions of 40, questions of sequence. Questions of sequence. So, in case that also you find uh, some of the concepts in the question in the tutorial sheets, in the past papers, you may add, but we let you know that this is we are adding from what you have mentioned uh, in the beginning, right? So, that's all, that is, this is uh, all about what you have to know. And when we cover this topic of sequence or infinite uh, or infinite sequence, then we move to the next one, which is uh, infinite series. Then we go for the metric series, multivariate variables or double integrals, and we uh, triple integrals and enjoy the beauty of engineering, how engineering can be scientific in mathematics. Okay, so if that's the case now, we can take a look on this general introduction of so what the sequence. So we can take 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, and general introduction. General introduction of sequence. General introduction of sequence. Okay. So uh, the term sequence is not a new term for you. All our students are now. Why it's not a new term? Because you had it since you were in form three. So because you had it since you were in form three, so it's not a new a new terminology. So you are familiar, you had you have done it so some of the rates of the sequence, right? So uh, it's better if we link. Also, when you graduated your ordinary uh, secondary education, you join with either advanced secondary education or ordinary diploma education. When you went for the uh, advanced secondary education, you learn the concepts of sequence in the topic called the algebra. It's the one of the topic in the syllabus of the advanced mathematics uh, form five. If you have gone through the ordinary diploma, I'm also teaching. I'm, I'm teaching advanced mathematics. I'm teaching also uh, all the six modules of ordinary diploma according to Nazis. But uh, when uh, but you made the concepts of sequences and series. In the one of the module or course that is learned in the second semester of the third year, that's called the complex number series and the uh, numerical method. So, in case of in the concepts of the series, you learn sequence and also learn what the uh, series. So, this terms is not new for you. You know it. Possibly even if that you know it in more than me who is teaching you. So, let us have a fundamental question, which is question one. That always, whenever you want to learn something, you have to begin from here. What is sequence? What is the meaning of the word sequence? Right? Different resources have defined this terminology, but I chose two of the definitions so that you can have it in your mind. What is sequence? So, sequence, we say that is a set, is the set of terms. The set of terms 
written in a definite order. Written in a definite written in definite order to form simple pattern. Form simple pattern. From simple pattern. Okay, that's one of the definitions. So this is the center of 40 of terms. Written in definite order, whether from the smallest value to the largest value, or from the largest value to the smallest value, or kinds of jumping with the constant distance between one term and another term, right? To form a simple pattern. So the main objective we need these patterns in engineering. Patterns matter in music, engineering, and even in different fields. Okay, because we have something called progressions in music. Or some of the resources we find that in mathematics, because even if we start series, it will begin with the definition of what the meaning of series. Because you have to understand guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when I was in my undergraduate studies, I failed to do one thing which I want to tell you in advance so that you may know. I failed to crave. I don't know how to crave. I failed at all. How can I crave stuff? So I've been struggling a lot to understand them, and that's what I will teach you. I can teach you something that I don't know. I will teach you something that I have understood, or even I'm still understanding, even at the time when I'm teaching, because when I'm teaching you, I'm also teaching myself. So uh, we said in mathematics, a sequence is an ordered list. It's an ordered list. So a sequence is an ordered list of numbers. Or a list of numbers, or not only numbers, or other elements, other elements. This can be an ordered list of what other elements, like what geometrical elements like geometrical like geometrical like geometric geometric objects geometric objects right that often follow a specific pattern or a function <coughs> that often follow a specific Often follow a specific pattern. Okay. Objects that often follow that often follow a specific pattern. A specific pattern. A specific pattern. Or function. Or function. Yeah? So we say that in mathematics, also a sequence is an ordered list of numbers or other elements like geometrical objects. We have also geometrical objects, right? That often follow. So these geometrical objects we all uh, ordered list of numbers. We follow sort of, follow a specific pattern or a specific function. And the meanings of what it is, the meanings of sequence. Okay. So let me give you what are the examples of sequence. Examples of sequence. Uh, with these examples of sequence, also we can show up how do we notate them. We have a sequence that has begins from the simplest part. Sets of 40 of natural numbers. So we have a set of natural numbers. Let me say that a set of natural numbers may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. 
So these numbers, we call them terms in sequence. Call them sort of terms. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eighth term, etc. That is, we call it infinite sequence because it's still continuing. Right? But also, you can have a set of even numbers. Right? So you can form a sequence, a set of 40 of even numbers. Say so even numbers. You believe the even, you still remember the list of even numbers? These are the numbers which are divisible by 2 without the remainder. So the even number, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, then come out, 14, 16, maybe it's end there. That's we call the finite sequence, right? Again, we have a set of 40. And I have a set of uh, odd numbers, prime numbers. You see, we have sets of 40 of uh, odd number, right? Odd number, odd numbers. Okay, and then it begins, the odd number begins is 1, comes uh, to 3, then it comes to 5, it comes to 7, it comes to 9, it comes to 10, 11, excuse me. Comes to 13 and then etc. etc. That is in finite sequence. But also, you can have so there are different uh, properties or patterns that can form a sequence. You can have a set of multiple numbers by five. Set of multiple number, multiple number by five. So, by five, the first one is five, then the next one, five times two. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and then 5 times 5 is 25, then 5 times 6 it is 30, and 5 times 4 is 27 is 75. So you can have finite sequence like that. <coughs> Okay, so if you join me, whether you're an international or a national student, please, you're warmly welcome. My name is Saole Jolai from Tanzania, a beautiful country in the eastern of the African continent. I'm happy to have you, whether from India, whether from North America or from South America, or whether you're from Australia or whether you're from Asia, you're warmly welcome, or you're from Middle East, whether you're from uh, Central Africa or Northern Africa or South Africa, you're only welcome into this fantastic moment of learning the beauty of higher and scientific engineering for undergraduate students. So you're only welcome in our online undergraduate protecting institute of Tanzania, the square bracket in Orangeolai M. So we say that these numbers we call them terms, right? Because there's first term, second terms, and the, yeah, and we have also the last term for for instance, which told me what the end step. So, for instance, if we continue, uh, maybe having this one, we we'll have also the last term is n. So, this is called, called n step. The last term is called n term. n term if it is unknown. But if it is known, we call it the last term. So, we have this is first term. Just let me clarify to remind you, because I know that is lenses and stuff long term. This is called the first term. This is second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eighth term, ninth term. Test steps, etc., etc. This is called elastic term. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eight terms. This is the elastic term, right? Yes, first term, second term, third term, uh, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, it is still continuing. Then first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, elastic term. So this is first term, elastic term, middle terms, right? That is the same principle applicable for what? Applicable for, for sequence and they also series. Again, I would like just to touch before I go to another part notations of what? Of terms, right? Notations of terms of what? Of sequence. So, notations of terms of sequence 
uh, it depends on the choice. But basically, we say that, basically, basically, we may use the uppercase or lowercase. So if you use the first uppercase, for the first term, we use this notation. Second term, we use this notation, right? Third term, we use this notation. Fourth term, we use this notation. The nth term, we use this A subscript of M, right? But also, you can use lower cases. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, right? That's the notation for the sequence. However, sometimes, because we can have a genetic sequence, also you can say that G1, comma G2, comma G3, comma G4, comma G5, right? Also, you can say that if OK can have G1, however, it is there, it is there. Another thing that this is going to be a subscript. Sometimes you can have that they say A, N plus 1. This one is not equal to say that this is A, N plus 1. It's not equal. So you can have A, subscript of N plus 1. Or you can have A, subscript of N plus 2. Or you can have A, subscript of N plus 3, etc. Also, you can have that they say A, N plus 1. But this is common for the lower cases if you have this kind of subtlety of the subscript, right? Of the subscript. So these are the common notations that will be familiar ones that will be dealing with it, right? So very important. Remember that also uh, A subscript of N plus 2, this is not equal to A, N plus 2. That's completely wrong. So you have to be careful in case of notation of your uh, of your stuff, okay? So then, then now I want to take you into the uh, the next part, which is types of the sequence. Okay, so let us continue right now uh, uh, with this, what is the second part. The third part right now, I think that, I don't know if it's the third part, but very interesting part. In this part, now we like to touch a little bit about the types of OT types of sequence. If you have any question concerning about uh, calculus 2, okay, you can ask in the comment section, right? Types of OT of sequence. If you have also any question about sequence, you can ask in the comment section below of this video on the, on the left hand side, on my left hand side. Types of sequence, say types of sequence, okay. So in maths, in maths, there are two types, there are two types of 40 or two types of sequence, right? There are two types of sequence, two types of sequence. And these are the first one, we call it finite, finite sequence. And the second one, I'm always teaching from the big picture is we call it infinite or infinite sequence. Okay, I'm always teaching from the big picture. So don't get disappointed because possibly what I'm still teaching right now, you know, I will take you into the very interesting and concentrated point of calculus tools. But remember that any house, the strength of the house depends on the foundation. So in, in this lecture one, in lecture two, possibly even lecture three, I'll be building the foundations of the sequence in your mind. So when now I'll teach you about uh, this higher concepts or advanced concepts of the sequences, then you just flow like you're drinking a cup of water. You are drinking water, right? Call the water in the rest labs or in the hot sequence. So you have these types of 40 of the sequence. You have finite sequence and infinity sequence, right? So he said that, let, let me describe them shortly in finite or finite sequence to make a distinction. However, that I know that you know what the difference between them. Okay, say that finite, what is, uh, is the second question? What is, what is finite sequence? What is finite sequence? So finite sequence, you say that, is the type of sequence 
a table sequence, right? A table sequence in which in which the last item in which the last item the last item of the sequence of the sequence is known is finite is finite that is so example if you refer this set of examples from two sets of even numbers is finite series because the last term is finite. And then from and four, yes. okay, set of 40 of multiple numbers by five. So Roman four also is example for finitely series. So just write, confirm for you, you have two, four, six, Eight, ten, then we have twelve, we have fourteen, we have sixteen. While for the five, it is five, we have ten, we have fifteen, we have not fifteen, we have fifteen, we have twenty, we have twenty-five, we have thirty, we have thirty-five, we have forty, etc. No, thirty-five, that's the last item. Ten. So, if this is the case, so if this is the case, you say that that's all about 20 finite series, or finite, finite sequence. Again, the second test, you say that it's infinite sequence. So the second test is infinite sequence, which will be a uh, starting data in this course. Infinite sequence, right? What is infinite sequence? We enjoy the beauty of uh, higher engineering and scientific mathematics. What is infinite? Sequence, tell me in the comment section, please. What is infinite sequence, right? In finite sequence, you say that uh, this is the type of the sequence, or you say that is a sequence of the terms whose last terms is not known. So simply say that in the type of sequence, types of sequence whose last term is Known. The last item is unknown. The last item is unknown. So it's a type of sequence whose last item is known. The type of sequence whose last item is unknown. So what is the finite sequence? So that the type of the sequence whose last item is what is unknown. Okay. Or you say that in the sequence, or I say that in the sequence whose last item, last item is infinite, and this is the symbol for the infinite. The last term is infinite. So, example, if you refer to uh, Romani 1, yes, Romani 1, set of natural numbers, is so really 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then we continue like that. So, this is the uh, uh, example 40 of infinite sequence. It's not infinite series. Remember that the difference between sequence and series is the symbol that uh, uh, separate the two consecutive terms. The symbol separate the two consecutive terms of the sequence is comma, say comma. And then the symbol that separate 
uh, between two consecutive terms of the series, right, is a, a, uh, is a basic operations. It can be either plus addition sign or subtraction sign or multiplication signs or division signs, kind of. But however, that uh, mostly the common one is multiplication, uh, additions, and subtractions. Okay. So again, for a three, a set of what? So this was a set of of even number, a set of odd numbers. We say this from one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, dash, 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 dash. But if you have the end here, so you mean that something you say that you can finish, and this one you fit. When you have a second sequence where we have uh, three dots, and then at the end we have the end, or maybe the end step form, that is no longer a finite sequence. It is finite sequence because the last term can be determined from the origin, from the formula. Okay. So in finite series, uh, in finite sequence and sequence, uh, we say that the last term is origin is infinite. So, not these two points, and then we move on. The terms of the sequence, the terms of the sequence, terms of the sequence can be extended. Enjoy the beauty of higher engineering and scientific mathematics. Can be extended if the pattern. If the pattern governing the given terms, governing the given terms, governing the given terms, right, can be formed. Can be formed. So the terms of the sequence can be extended, right? If the pattern, in case you find it, I'm teaching you quickly, you can revise this video several times as you can. Okay, governing the, what the given sorting, the given terms can be formed. That's one. Two. We said the patterns can be discovered by only how they discover the patterns of the sequence. Okay, very important question. The pattern, so, so that the pattern can be discovered, can be discovered, can be discovered. By examining, by examining three or more, three or more, by examining three or more consecutive terms, consecutive terms, consecutive terms. To see how they are related. To see how they are related. How they are related. See how they are related. So if you see the way they are being related, then we can extend or to the sequence. So if you are given two to three, three to four terms, then we can determine the end terms and the relationship between those two, three, three terms, and we can discover even other next terms, right? Then other next terms.
So as we say that we can rotate a sequence as A1, A2, A3, A4, and then as we continue, the last term, which is AN, possibly AN, right? But again, also we can extend this sequence because we know the patterns. So AN, A2, A3, A4, right? Comma, possibly that, dash, 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 AN, the next term from here will be AN plus one, Next steps will be a n plus two, etc. etc. So with this one also we can write it in general as a n, right? I write it as in general as a n because this is time we have a curly bracket here, we have a curly bracket here, we have a curly bracket. So this one, this is equivalent. So instead of writing this list of the terms, you can write just the answer term. Okay? And if, for example, that we have a series at a sequence at A1, A2, A3, A4, then it's comma, what? Okay, three dots. Hence to what? To AN. Okay, to AN. But now we want to make all to AN. So it means that we can write this term like this. That you can write like it A subscript of N, and then say that in N from N is equal to 1 to N is equal to N. Right? So this is the way of writing the uh, infinite sequence. Oh, this is finite sequence. So this we call it finite, finite sequence. So now, if we convey this sequence to become infinite sequence, so if you want it to become infinite sequence, then you have a1, comma a2, comma a3, comma a4, comma dash 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 to a infinity. So this is a listing, right? You have you have listed uh, this the listing or listing of fourteen of the terms of the sequence. So if that the case now we say that you can write in shorthand, so this is the shorthand. Shorty hand, shorty hand uh, of 40 of infra of sequence. Shorty hands of 30 in sequence. So we open the curly bracket, we have the A subscript of N, and we open this will be the first counting index when N is equal to 1, and then after the N is equal to infinity. This also is equal to if you write in sigma notation. Which the one of the Greek letter, right? So from n is equal to one to infinity, hence our n stems in a. So remember that this is remember this, my beloved student. N is equal to one to infinity, and hence the n stem is a n. This is equal to what? This is equal to a substitute of n, and then from where? From n is equal to one to infinity. So this is very important expression. Very important expression. Okay, so that's the way that you are going to write away or that you'll be using these notations compared to this one. So at least that now I'm taking you to somewhere where that you don't know or you are needed, or the concept is still new for you. In the second and third notations about AN is usual events with the former. A couple of the noxy are now in all of the notations. First, okay, there is absolutely no reason to believe that the sequence will start at n is equal to one. So it's not so we can also have a sequence, for example, that we can have a sequence where that we have a n a3 comma a4. So this will be uh, the third one, right? So the sequence a4, or you can have even yes, a4, then what is a what a5. And dash 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 to a field. So for this one, if you want to write in sigma notation, so we say that when n is equal to three, starts from three to infinity, that means our a our n stem it is what a n. Yes, you can write it in this format, which is kinds of 
university form of writing when I was in university, and even yourself, you may have write the series or the sequence in the three mutation. But now you see that mathematicians give us another way of writing what in, writing the sequence in a shorthand, just like single notation. So when n is the first county index starting from what in, starting from three in field. Okay, so I believe that you enjoy the beauty of higher engineering uh, and scientific mathematics in the topic of calculus two with Ology uh, Rani Mokro, your beloved teacher of mathematics, who loves you so much. Okay, and who thinks, who thinks for you day and night. So if that's the case now, let us go to the first example. And there's I'll leave the homework. I'm about to finish this lecture one because I wanted to build the foundation in your mind. So the question asks you to write down the first few terms of each of the following uh, of the following sequence. Write down, so example one, we say that write down the few terms. Here it is general, so few terms. More than three, let's say, or more than four, depends. Few terms of of the sequence, so so this one now will give you the homework of the sequence below. So this sequence will be given us in the second way of notating, which is carried back like this. And then we have the numerator, which is n plus one over n square. So this is a rational expression. And here we have n plus one to infinity. So I have to write few or two few terms. Are you ready for that? You can pause the video and then try yourself with a piece of paper, other piece of paper, because I know, I know that you want your exercise book to be clean. Remember that this is not entertainment programs, it's a learning program, so we are not entertaining you, however, that we are entertaining you mathematically, right? So we need students, right? You should have your exercise book, you should have the reference, at least one of the reference book that we've mentioned in lecture zero, zero, General introductions of the calculus too. Should you have your pen? Should you have your scientific calculator? And in case that just like this one, in case that you lost it, you lost your scientific calculator. That function 991's uh, MS uh, made by Casio, uh, which is the original scientific calculator. You can read the descriptions of this video and you will see that how you can order. We are selling this. We are providing because we don't only teach it, uh, our ordinary or ordinary. Ordinary diploma students, we don't only teach undergraduate students, we don't only teach advanced uh, secondary students, we don't only teach ordinary secondary students, but also we provide them materials, we call them weapons. So you know that because our aims, we want to simplify uh, the learning process of mathematics in, in our country from the form one to undergraduate level. That's the, one of our main objectives. That's what has given us because it has been believed that mathematics is a disease, international disease. We are going to a tarifa. But we real is a real that faith that mathematics is not a national disease, but it's the best, uh, it's the best knowledge that can help us to solve our own real life problems. Okay, so it, as I think that when I've been explaining about those informations while you are listening and watching, uh, you can pause the video and then say, this is the technique that you can do. Use it because we need active students. We don't want to school feed you, but we want you to participate. And regardless that you are, we are learning or you are learning this material digitally, and the good things that if they are not limited, you can learn them any times at any uh, in, in the anywhere. And you can revise them several times compared to the analog or physical training. So when, because we are not physically, we don't meet physically, you can ask questions in the comment section. But also, I give you some techniques that you can go through and build up mathematics in your mind as how I have been doing myself. Even if the teacher really asked me questions, a question there on the blackboard when I was doing my physical learnings, I was doing quickly to see that where is my destinations. And then I listen to the teacher and correct myself the things that have been missing. So you are the serious students. I want also to have that such kind of the techniques because it's going to help you. So you have this question, write down the few terms of the sequence below. Then afterwards I'll give you words which you have to do it on your just on yourself and you submit your homework in the comment section.
Okay. Beautiful. 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 Okay. So, solution. So, as I say that I'm also teaching other modules or courses, linear algebra, I'm teaching calculus one, I'm teaching probability, fantastic. Okay, write down the few terms of the sequence below. I love, I love for myself, my dear student. I love so much mathematics. How about you? Tell me in the comment section. And tell me that you enjoyed this contents from which institution, which college, which university, which city, which region, which continent. Tell me the comment section. I want to hear how this message is spread into millions because the generational message is a generational program. From the present to the future, generations will enjoy this uh, program for the rest of their life. Okay. So solution. So this is the kind. So this is the sequence. This is infinite sequence. So first of all, it is infinite sequence. So we say that in uh, the first step, we say that the count index is n is equal to one. So we say that the first step will determine those few steps or terms. In the first step, we say that substitute substitute n is equal to one in, multi, in the infinite sequence of the given sequence. And see what we have. Here. Given sequence. Right? So you say that this is the curly bracket. We have n plus 1 over n square. Else we have n is equal to 1 infinity. Uh, is equal to n, n plus 1. Okay. So we have, we have to substitute whenever we have uh, whenever we have n is equal to Whenever we have n, we have to substitute it with or replace n with 1. So in this case, we say that we are going to have 1 plus 1 of what? 1 square. Okay, so here we have 2 at the terms, it means that we need the second terms. Should we start from n is equal to 1 or n is equal to 0? Let me come to check with you. Okay, so we start with n is equal to 1. So this has nothing else to continue because the nth term is this one. So simply, just to avoid confusion for you, we say that, let me just do this in this style to avoid confusion to some of the students. The first step, first step we say that uh, consider, consider the nth term. Say so the nth term of 40, the nth term of, of the sequence. Where do you find it? Inside what? Inside curly bracket. So we say that nth term now, so the nth term of the sequence, this is given as n plus 1 over n squared. So we start with, so second step, second step is here when n is equal to 1. This is equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 square, and the answer is equal to 2. Again, when n is equal to 2, this is equal to 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 over 2 square, the answer is equal to 3 over 4. Then, so when n is equal to 3, uh, this will make what? So to make 3 plus 1, 3 square, the answer is equal to 4 over, over 9. Then we go for n is equal to 4. Then we have 4 plus 1, we have 4 square, the answer is equal to 5 over 16. Then we have n is equal to 5, here we have 5 in America plus 1, then we have 5 square, the answer is equal to what? 6 over 25. So these are the few terms, these are the terms. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. So because this continues to the infinity, or to the uh, to the infinity, so you have infinite sign there. So therefore, so we say that the same state, same state, we say that now write the sequence, write the sequence, write the sequence with few terms. So the way that you write the sequence, we say that the sequence is two, and then the other one is three over four, and then the other one is four over nine. 
then the other one is 5 over 16, then the other one is 6 over 25. But it continues to go to the infinity. So just you have these three dots. Okay? So now let me give you the homework so I can end this session, which will be uh, this is the homework. Homework one, okay, because it's lecture one. And here we have example two, right? Example two. And the questions ask us the same, right? Uh, let us see. Let me give you the limitation. So write down 60 terms, okay, 6 terms of the sequence below, okay, and this is the sequence that we've been given. This is negative 1, n plus 1, right, and then we have what? Over two power n, and then we close the curly bracket. Here n is equal to zero infinity. Okay, so that's the question. Write down six terms. So maybe you know that the students and students to see the numbers in this later. Six terms of the sequence below. So this is the sequence. So just see, follow the procedures that I've told you. And then we'll enjoy the beauty of 40, the beauty of mathematics. Okay, so that's the end of lecture one. That's titled as general introductions of the sequences. I, I firstly thank God who have made me in his image and likeness. Secondly, I would like to thank my father who is in heaven, who have given me a gift of teaching. And thirdly, I would like to thank God who have given me the uh, local, local teaching idea and now he has given me the national and international teaching idea and I would like to thank God for his faith, for his faithfulness during the preparations of this lecture, during the teaching, during even the processing uh, with all of those uh, uh, media equipments that until it reaches to your place. And I thank God who has given me you uh, because you joined with me having this contest with our students they don't have meanings, they don't have meanings rather than applying in my own life. So I thank God and I thank you also for taking my time here with me. And I'm very happy to just deliver these concepts to you because this is just a small question of what I know. And right now that you are, have transferred it into your mind, in case you have any question concerning about what you've been learning from the beginning to the end, don't just take to ask in the comment sections. I'll try my best to visit it. Uh, each of the conversation of the, each video. Also, we insist you to remember to subscribe because currently we have more than 30 videos in our YouTube channel that's called the uh, Online Undergrad Point Institute of Tanzania, square bracket of UIM. But uh, I promise you that we're going to have more than 500 in this YouTube channel. And you have to be careful in case that you want to learn some of the contents from it because we have so we have vast of the contents, so you have to learn them sequentially. Don't jump. So for instance, this is lecture one. So I'm going to invite you lecture two, uh, which I will take you against into too much details of the sequences. So I will invite you, welcome into the lecture two, join with me, Spread, uh, share this contest with your colleagues, with your friends, and then say, enjoy, do the homeworks that I've been, I've been leaving for you, and uh, submit it, and try your best to, as well as you can. Keep on learning uh, higher engineering and scientific mathematics. And then keep on praying for me, and I will be keep on praying for you, and give God thanks for everything that He has done it to you. May God bless you uh, as undergraduate students in Tanzania or internationally, and may, may God keep us. I and you until we meet in lecture two. See you.